Hey, hey, so I wanted to do a video on my book journey. Stay till the end, because honestly, there's incredible, incredible nuggets within this video. Okay, starting from the first book that I really have read within this journey, because honestly, the last books that I've read was probably in high school. So I listened to books today because I think I have ADHD. But anyway, so The Power of Now. If you're in our community, you, you know that that book has been suggested to you for a reason. I had to read it and listen to it at the same time because Eckhart Tolle's voice kind of put me to sleep and then reading it kind of put me to sleep as well like today I have the inner awareness that that's just my ego you know shutting off my entire physical form so um but listen honestly that book has started my journey it's incredible it keeps you in the moment it helps you notice the ego to watch that and to let it go you know to always work from your highest self okay within that I got to Dr. Wayne Dyer. If you have not picked up any of his books, go get one. Any of them. Any of them. It's amazing. Um, manifest Your Destiny. It's like the nine spiritual principles to manifesting anything in your life, which led me to the meditations for manifesting, which are guided meditations by Dr. Wayne Dyer. Wishes Fulfilled. Uh, the power, the secret power, whatever, of intention. How everything that we do in life, you know, there's got to be that intention behind it. He has given away so many crazy, incredible nuggets in his books. Um, I highly, highly suggest him. She, he led me to Gabrielle Bernstein. Now, she's like a new age author, right? So she kind of gears her marketing towards like the 30, 40, 50 year olds. Like, you know, she's got a different, she's got the same message and it's brought to you differently. She's got a lot of her teachings from Dr. Wayne Dyer as well as Marianne Williamson. Will Marianne Williamson does a course in Mirror goals. However, bring it back. Gabrielle Bernstein, she does The Universe Has Your Back, May Cause Miracles. May Cause Miracles is 40 days of exercises that you're actually going to have to put pen to paper, set those alarms to remind yourself, um, you know, just a beautiful, beautiful things. She goes through overcoming fears, building relationships, money issues, like there's different areas of our life. And she does it in 40 days. And she does this off of A Course in Miracles, which brings me to Marianne Williamson. Uh, she has amazing teachings on A Course in Miracles. Now, if you, this is this book, okay? It is like the Bible. It's probably backwards there. See how thick that is? Okay, so there's 365 days in here. Every single day, you're doing something, you're doing an exercise. Gabrielle Bernstein did 40 days off of this. She kind of like did like the easy version, you know, and that's what I started with. And I was like, wait a second, I want the real thing, you know? So there's a text version in here. There's a workbook for students in here as well as a manual for teachers. And it is the most committed that I have been to anything. I'm going on my third month now and every single day, this is a part of my morning routine. Now I know that I sit for hours in the morning and everything and I might have the time, but the exercises are really, really easy that you do in here. It's literally just, a lot of it is changing perspective, really putting away perspective. There's like that good and bad, which that doesn't even make sense because it's my judgment against yours or my perspective against yours. When everything is just knowledge, everything is just truth, and it's all meant to be exactly how it is. Like literally everything, even the things that you think suck in your life, it's meant to be there to teach you a lesson, you know, to help you grow in life in this physical form. It's absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to, and, and, and right now alongside of this, I'm listening to Gabrielle Bernstein's new book called Judgment Detox. So I know I've been talking a lot about judgment lately and um, that's why, because it makes a lot of sense when we are just first aware of that judgment that we have towards other people, when you literally write a list every single day of the people that you have judged in that day or the day before or whatever it's astounding it's like it's it's disgusting you know i don't even like that word but anyway that was my this my little tidbit of how i've gotten to where i am right now so between dr wayne dyer Gabrielle Bernstein, Marianne Williamson, A Course in Miracles does not have an author. And if you ever pick it up, you'll find out why, because it's not, it's not a human being that actually wrote, uh, it's a human being that wrote it, but the voices that came through was something higher than we are. So, um, and I believe in all of that beautiful stuff. So I hope you guys are doing fabulous. And um, I hope that somebody gained some insight about this and that maybe you pick up one of those books soon. So this is Jacqueline Rourke signing off. See you later. Love you. Mwah!